Way back in 2007, I shot my second feature film called Abo the Hue Monkey. We started writing it in about 2006, right after we finished I Need to Lose 10 Pounds, my first feature. I wrote the story with two pairs of siblings, Nina, my wife now, and her brother, and my two friends, Jake and Keith. This is really the film I made during my college years when I lived in Boston, and therefore the story is very much set in Boston. It's about a Hugh monkey who finds his place in the big city. So with that came a whole new host of collaborators from Doug Bergdorf, the cinematographer, Jake Emanuel, the main actor, makeup Mark Santos, who actually did the prosthetic for Abo at the Tom Savini School of Makeup, still have it in pretty good condition. John Hunt, of course, was instrumental in the instrumentals. He did the score for the film and even acted in it a little bit. And this is my first feature that had John Ryan and Ben Fisher, who I'd go on to work with in Sexually Frank. And of course, John Ryan was the star of Having Fun Up There. So this was the foundation for many projects to come. My first feature was kind of an outlandish, gross-out comedy. For this one, we wanted to try something a little higher concept, a little bit weirder. Something that's kind of gross on its face, but kind of PG-13 and almost family-oriented. Uh, at its core. The documentary you're about to watch is an hour, and it's an assembly of press clippings, old tapes, blog footage, bloopers, everything that had to do with the making of Abo the Hugh Monkey condensed into a kind of a cool narrative. I'm first going to play the trailer so you can get a sense of how the movie came out, and of course, if you want to watch the movie, you can pick it up on digital or on Blu-ray over at redcowentertainment.com slash store. Please enjoy You Can Cry Tonight, the making of Abo the Hugh Monkey. Mossy Rock, Massachusetts. Home of the world's biggest secret. The first and only born half-man, half-ape. Abo, the Hugh-Monkey. It's obvious Abo's no ordinary child. Abo's a great example of how students learn most from their peers. He's a thing. Obscene, grotesque mishap. He's not a person. But when a Boston college student comes to town... Hi! My name's Ted Gillette. Unless there's something wrong with him, there's no reason to not let him out in the public. It's off to the big city. It's a story about friendship. My best friend, Wilhelm. Family. Courage. You're a freak! How are we gonna prove to the world that you're normal if you can't prove it to me? And the Hugh Monkey condition. Being a Hugh Monkey isn't a condition, it's screwed up and unnatural. Red Cow Entertainment presents a three cheer comedy Abo, <laughs> the Hugh Monkey. When should we expect the next movie? The next movie's getting written right now. It's called Abo, the Hugh Monkey. It's a tale of a half man, half ape. Aaron's gonna go pee. All the way. The Celica has traveled a great distance. Looks like another hour and a half or so, maybe two. So. <laughs> What's the concern? 150 miles of like a normal like well, Route 6 road. Well, like I... at 35 miles per hour. For 150 miles, you know how long that's gonna take? Like 14 days. <laughs> Good news, ladies and gentlemen. We're at the dollar store. Wait, where is it? <laughs> home sweet home. We thought this was gonna be a fun trip. Turns out we're in Shitsville, USA. I think this is our man right here. This is Makeup Mark. What's going on, guys? You know Nina, you met her at the script reading. How are you? And, the, and this is Aaron, he drove today. We saw your local Denny's, it was good. Yeah. YouTube, man. This is where Abo is going to be created. And what's going on here right now? This is the creature for the descent. This is just roughed out, man. His, uh, he fell over my car, his nose is kind of like smushed up, so I packed some clay real quick. This is a replica from Friday the 13th, part four. I'm doing it for Tom Savini's haunted house. This thing is solid. It's like one solid like, oh, piece wow. of plastic. Can you breathe through your nose all right? Yes. Can you breathe through your nose? Who is Jerry? One of the greatest. Makeup artist in the industry. Worked on you know, Sons of the Lambs and Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the X Files. Do you have uh, claustrophobia or fear of being like, uh, have bags put over your head and lock in closets? No, and no. Keep it This is a live cast of you, Frankie. Oh, there's a shoulder. Ta -da. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> We got the uh, makeup stuff done, but there's one last thing I gotta do while I'm in Pennsylvania. And there she is. Favorite film of all time. It's kind of uh, surreal, really. See this uh, backdrop. 
A few weeks back, I put in an ad for a little girl to play the part of Bonnie and Abo. We got a surprising amount of responses, but the one that really intrigued us was the little girl who was British. I saw her in a play a few weeks back. His name was Abo, short for Ape Boy, and he was a Hugh Monkey, my best friend. What the Hugh Monkey? The second part of my report. We're doing a little casting for Willy. The real Willy block here, which the, the character is based on, it was originally going to be played by Willy. And there, there was an uproar, mostly led by Kirk Krober, and said he championed for this man here, who I was in a play with last year, uh, Cannibal Musical. I'm kind of into his What kind of makes you laugh, please? I'm not He might be crushed, but... What? We have auditions coming up this Thursday. That's a whole nother thing in itself. But this is one of the lead parts we want to make sure we get it right. He's not necessarily championing for Abo, but he does, still looks at him as a regular human being. Which is what the real Willie would do if you brought home a half man, half ape. Let's go to let's go to the first scene. This is our big mistake. You've always had it out for Abo. You wanted to destroy us! I didn't say you to ruin you. So you took my son from me? He wasn't your son. He was my son! <laughs> I'm so sorry. Get out of here, Willie. Go back to the docks where you belong, you bum. You just have to listen to me. My life is empty. Ted. Ted slams the window shut and cries. You're my best friend. Sweet. Here's our lines like that at the end. <laughs> they always get to the essence like after the <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the tea is on fire. <laughs> you can see some fire trucks there. It's ridiculous. Good off bed right before the convention center. And it took probably about 25 minutes after that. They made us all get off, heard into these buses. It was ridiculous. I know, I thought it was so clever and so brilliant. Did you get a chance to look this over at all, or? I did. In the film, a half man, half ape is born. And he's found in a small town and brought to Boston to integrate him into society a little bit better. He can't speak. He really should have been put down at birth, but everybody's giving him all this credit of like, no, he has a lot of potential. And a lot of this movie, the comedy is reliant on not so much gag to gag, but the fact that people are talking about some ridiculous things. It's very different. I mean, I must say that. <laughs> Obviously. You're the director and the writer. And the actor. And the a Oh my God, <laughs> God bless you. My okay. God, this, this is like a kick ass script. My girlfriend, her brother, and a couple other guys, yeah. we, we outlined it together. Yeah. And then I went off and wrote the dialogue. Oh, wow. Well, Thanks again, yeah, yeah, too. Seriously. Okay. Wait, where's she from? Uh, New York. She just came from New York. She just came from New York City. Yeah, just to come Just for this? for this? Yeah. Jeez. Ten minutes in here. She looks around and notices a most depressing group of children. Don't bother looking out there. Out there doesn't want you. Out there forgot all about you. I just don't know. How do you put Is this you, monkey? You, monkey, yes. You, my human monkey. There's nothing wrong with Abo, so why hold him back? Education has never been better than with Abel, the human monkey here in our small public school. It's obvious that Abel is no ordinary child. First he's on the national news, and now he's being sold over the internet. Like sex jelly! What have we done? Mr. Human monkey, a statement! How do you like Boston? Well, I know I've got my free Abel blushing. I also, I tell you, I had lost headshots, a resume. And then my fiance left and she took everything, including my shampoo and my clothing. So, I mean, like, I have nothing. I mean, she left she me. She left for good? Yeah, months ago. Yeah. I'm surprised, like, shit, my bed sheets, like, everything. <laughs> so, I, I don't have anything with me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I remember you said that you were in Jersey Girl. I was in Jersey Girl, yeah. I was in the Hard Rock scene. The Ben Affleck football scene. Yeah, yeah. The, the best part of the movie. Yeah. <laughs> it, you know where to look. You see me, I was back when I had hair, I was doing all that cool stuff. Fresh Prince is almost here. Is that blow on your shirt? They had a whole scene they cut from the movie where we sing. Yeah, they make us sing. Parents just don't understand. Unless you want me to do the, um, uh, I don't like being in the, the forced, awkward, intimate situation that you people like to call dating. I don't like the feeling. You're sitting there, you're wondering, do I have food in my face? Am I eating? Am I talking too much? Are you talking enough? Am I interested? I'm not that interested. Should I tell like I'm interested? But do I want to be interested? I think she might not be interested. But then, then I'm, st I'm starting to get interested. And then when you kiss her, you wait till the end of the door, then it's awkward. It's like, well, good night. Do you do that, like, that ass out hug thing? Where you guys don't want to get too close. You don't, you know, you, when you give her a hug like that, you just go and kiss her on the lips. You don't kiss her at all. It's very hard trying to judge the situation. And all the while, I just wonder when you hop up and up and make some bad decisions, pass by a little game I would call just the tip. Just for a second, just see how it feels. Or ouch, ouch, you're on my hair. Yeah, do that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's Vince Vaughn, Wedding Crashes. Hello. Okay. Oh, there you go, one back. Mm -hmm. Great. Three young bullies throwing snowballs in a general direction. You're my key. 
Eight men! He's just trying to fit in. Yeah, he should have had two human thirds. <laughs> <laughs> you just want a part. I just want a part. <laughs> Alright, well, cool. Excuse me, do you gentlemen have a minute for the environment? Keep in touch with you? Okay. There he is. I know this guy. As you remember, I get my head cast, right? So they take this bust of me. He then sculpts with clay this design which we worked on back and forth. It needs to look more like this, add this. Now this is a liquid latex mask. He's gonna make a foam latex mask, which will be able to articulate with my eyebrows and my face way more than uh, than this thing could. What color is it gonna be when it's finished? It's skin tone, essentially, oh, but it's gonna be really heavily textured, so it's not gonna look just very like me. If you turn down the compression really, really low, and you bring the trigger all the way back, and you push down, it, it will just spatter, like this like mm. sprinkling of like paint you put all over it. Right. Soften the lines can get, can get even further than that. But I would still recommend trying to yellow it up somehow. I'll I'm just see. so excited to put it on. It looks good, man. So we have some nice lesions here. It's essentially syphilis that is on the back of his head, yeah. In that case, he's starting to decay. Yeah. You've gotten some type of disease since. The top of the head, where like most of these deformities wow. are and everything, would be much thicker. But because the articulation is extremely important, it's going to be really, really thin. It's like right here, like right where his mouth is going to be and everything. So it, look like? it looks That's like Abo in a business suit <laughs> from the very top. You can have hair and the whole nine yards, man. Is it weird only seeing out of one eye? It's not that bad. Go ahead, do it. I know you want to. <laughs> <laughs> Guess who's under there? Nina. The girl hasn't been up in a long time. We're hijacking a parade today, Frank. <laughs> yep. I'll get the parade. ski mask. See where we are. <laughs> yeah, he's really afraid he's going to miss something. So we almost thought there was no parade today. Well, almost. I don't know no, why. You, pan I you panicked for well, no cause, reason. Because you're like, I don't think there's going to be a parade, even though we have all this information. Unless that guy over there it just always sits on a lawn chair at the corner of Hancock Street. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> Let's get a close up. I think we're okay. The old people are here. They're starting to build up. We know this is a parade. Love a parade! The marching of drums, the homeless and bums stuck out in the rain. I like the fact that the people recognize the Abo is that fucked up. It's not like they see him in different eyes. Like the Abo plushie would be some kind of beautiful thing. We just need to go back to our cars and move them so they don't get towed because the cops around here tell us they'll get towed. They didn't ask us to move them. They said cars will be towed at 11. Like it's an event happening right before the parade. <laughs> <laughs> the event of the towing. No, they do that every Sunday. <laughs> oh, every Sunday they, they just do this. tow cars at 11. We just want to be able to use the microphones that we brought instead of the on-camera mic because on, it's going to get awfully loud and we're going to have to do ADR and uh, I don't want to do that. You've agreed to be in another Frankie Friend feature. Mm -hmm. Your thoughts on this? Uh, well, it's just a small role and as you can see, it's a little more respectable than playing Miguel. I'm a marshmallow-loving, mustard-jerking, chalkboard-licking, fat-crabbing, condom-blowing, laxative-taking fat crap. But now, as you can see, I get to be a very respectable uh, news-type person. Frank really seems to like having me in the film, and I, I like being in the film. It creates a feeling of uh, familiarity. Here goes a toad car. <laughs> We don't want to be in front of this pole, though, right? They're giving out these, these Abo plush toys. They're free. Um, you could pay for them. It will benefit the, the Society Foundation for Homeless Monkeys. They've numbered the antique cars for us. That's one. That's two. We're gonna focus on doing as much coverage as possible. That's just getting it. Okay, we need back by Reporting live with the world's tallest man, I dare say, who's leading an army of Scottish people to take over the town of Chelsea, Massachusetts. That man is so tall that if anyone tries to even uh, come up to him, he would just spit on them or something. It's havoc down here, and, and, and quite frankly, I'm glad to be on this side of the yellow tape. It's bagpipe phenomenon 2006. Hello, ladies. It's beautiful here today. You said hello, ladies, to a couple of 15-year-olds. That's so nice. Yeah. Shut up, asshole. We're not going to talk about who fucked the director to get this job. <laughs> and I'm telling you one thing. My pants are zip. Get one of them taking a dump. No, we'll, we'll save it. I'll put it on the desktop back at the station. I've got my uh, Abo the uh, Monkey plush toy right here. And isn't he just so cute? Look at his little incisors. <laughs> my nephew's a dentist. He taught me that word. Hello, I'm half of Abo the Monkey. Today we have... The traveling hat 
complete with propeller. It is technically the second day of shooting, but I would uh, venture to treat it as the first day because it's the first time we have core actors. It's the first time I'm in costume. First time we're shooting in Boston. We got rained out yesterday. We were supposed to start yesterday. Got rained out. Now we have to make up for it all week long. Much better than the last time we saw him, isn't it? it smells horrible. It smells a lot like rotten eggs. It's gonna be pretty, pretty rough. Roses, peanuts, pomegranates, grains with apples, mala apples, Fuji apples, Mowell oranges, tangerines, grapefruit, watermelons, butternut squash, turnips, and pumpkins. <laughs> How you doing today, sir? Good, you? How about those pets? Pretty good. Are the girls coming back from school? We're going to lunch. Are you going to lunch? You want to join us? How are you feeling, Bo? You hungry? No! Ah. Similar to Angra in many ways. Yes. But I much prefer Delacroix. He's so much more free and liberal with the brush. You want to know that one? Okay. <laughs> Why not? It's a long way, but it's pretty scenic. Okay. Yeah, I prefer this way too. I think it was beautiful. I think it was beautiful? <laughs> and magical. Magical. Now he's lying. In all the Would ways. Would you take breathtaking? No. Not, not quite that far. God. All right. No. God, no. All right. Hey, excuse me. Do you have a moment for the environment? Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Mark advised that I only use spirit gum remover to get this thing off, but it's been coming off all day. So let's see what happens when I just try to... Are you going to fuck it up, though, man? I don't think so. Why is the back of your scalp coming off? Oh, is it, wasn't there supposed to be a chicken wing on it? Did that ever happen? Yeah. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Yep, you look at the worst with the kid off that he didn't take her off. <laughs> One more time, just even, even a bit slower. Ready? Action. <laughs> oh man, that was great. <laughs> take number three. Ready? I'm so f freaking cold. Can you fix it, please? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's kind of tasty. Take your food, place it in your ladle. Okay, cut. Try, uh, well, it, while you're still in this shot, help help her with her ladle. Dip in the hot water. Be careful, because it's hot. Let it cook. So, um, how did you two meet? This reminds me of when Ted and I met. Willie, shut up. <laughs> we'll stir. There's chicken lo mein in the fridge. No veggies. The three of us went to sing karaoke. If you need anything, you'll have to wait until I get home. Ted. Born to give us second birth. Uh, yeah! Yeah, guys! Yeah! Come here, buddy! Hey, ten tall. Cup judge. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Hi, my name is Mike Schuster. I played a homeless bum in today's uh, feature. And I was like, what do I use for uh, birth control? Uh, my personality. <laughs> Sad but true. <laughs> hey, Mark, the mask is ripping, and we need to do something about it pronto. See? It starts here and it goes all the way up here. And rubber cement's not going to survive forever. 
Call me. Call me. Um, you want to use my car for the car scene, right? I want to. I got to talk to you right. about it. All right, but I thought originally that we were going to use my car for Willie at the end for the debate uh, when he's on his way to the debate, right? Or is that going to be Keith's or is, car? Or is that going to be Keith's car? car. Oh, it's going to be Keith's car now. That's somebody's what, car. That's What's what you wanted on? to talk to me about. We need to use your car. To well, the do movie. you mind? Is that okay? if, as long as you're sitting in the back, you do Welcome back. Yeah. The crew's getting a little too comfy, I'd say. <laughs> watch, watching Clueless. Oh, oh nonetheless. Fuck. I'll watch Clueless. Fucking hotel Clueless. Fucking Clueless. Just give me my house back, you goddamn Jezebel. Ah! Smash! What about biscottis? We only have biscottis. What are we supposed to do? There's a bunch of lines about biscottis. We completely failed. I'm going to have a rolled wafer cookie. Would you like a rolled wafer cookie? The one thing I am. <laughs> what is known as this story? Oh, is it? Are you picking up on that thing? On fucking sound problems. Some what? Sort. You want a pen to throw at me? Um. Throw that pen at me. It'll be funny. All right. Do a downright mistake. Do I take cream? Yes. And seven sweet loves, right, Aaron? I have six. Don't mock me. <laughs> Hi there. Hoffman. Yes. When we did it, were you thinking of someone else? Yes, I was. Not you. Expectations, so I'm I thought it came out great. Can we get another one of those space magnets? It's getting violent. I yeah. Extra gloves. <laughs> Good. No. Bad. Ted Gillette is not the one to blame here. Ted really cares about Abel. The true criminal is that. Abel hating backstabbing Hoffman. Yeah, you got it back. Ted Hoffman is not the one to blame here. <laughs> Ted Hoffman. Ted Gillette is not the one to blame here. Ted really cares about Abel. The true criminal is that. Today we're doing the apartment scenes with all the Christmas decorations, and we're about to launch off the one where Hoffman invades uh, the apartment. What do you kitty cats say if we just sit around watching shitty Sunday TV today? What do you see otters feel like if you just say? How do you little tiggy birds feel if they just Ted, Ted, come on. I want to take the kids out for once. I'm Let paralyzed. Me get this out of there. I'm paralyzed. I can't believe Thank you. No, Ted, move. Ted, ah, Ted, ah, Ted, ah, Ted. Hello? Rainbow. Come on out, you little hair and Greek somewhere. I think this tree's broken. Abo. Abo, buddy, run! Call the police! We have 11 more pages to go for the week for today, but it should be fairly easy. And if once we've done that, we will have shot 36 pages out of a 92 page script, meaning we'll be over a third done. So let's rock hard. When this began, Frankie encouraged us all to give him feedback and uh, suggestions on how to make the movie a better piece of work. But uh, I see that slowly slipping away. The week is over. We shot 36 pages of the movie in six days. That's a third of the movie. Colon number one, quit stalling and start balling. Uh, colon number one, talk to me. Colon number one, quit hesitating, start articulating. Colon number one, quit chilling and start spilling. You can't get what you want just by groping little children. <laughs> that was a weird line. <laughs> <laughs> Ted, Abos of the helicopter lap. Fuck. And we can see he is far more docile and far less aggressive than a creature of this kind of hybrid you would expect. I'm, so that was awful. Much less aggressive than a creature of this hybrid we would expect. What the fuck did I just say? This means he has a compilation of both shit. He has DNA from shit. He's what's known as an interspecific hybrid. <laughs> Kill yourself, I tripped over the wire. Ape DNA. No. God, a creature of this hybrid might be expected to be. Ass be honkers. He's what's known as an interspecific hybrid, meaning different D F ass muncher. No. Fuck. Shit. Shit. Oh yeah. You really damn it. <laughs> you know, I find that interesting. See <laughs> you fuck your same damn it. <laughs> yeah. What? Well, <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> Do I hear another heart hemorrhage coming from a fuck? Ted's grad thesis project depends on the success of this debate. <laughs> so 
school teacher in a high school that, what the fuck? All right, as a semi-educated, fuck, all right. Yeah, this looks really credible. Fuck. <laughs> oh, this looks mighty trustworthy. They uh, gave the actor the camera today uh, to film the actor's uh, perspective. Hey, Holly, what's going on? I've got a camera in my hand. Yeah, I noticed. Yeah, Holly, how's your last day so far? Cold. Very cool. Tropical. There's Doug. He's really happy. He's right happy. here. He's back there. He's been up for over a day watching sci-fi movies. There's a bunch of kitties on the frog pond. The scene will, sh will start with us walking. You can't shoot Doug if he gets the rules. If you do, you have to do it. Here we are at the confessional tree. Playing the part of Holly, since she's standing over there, is Nina. Why don't you tell us your confessions? Um, it's miserable. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> um, I don't know, it's, it's my last shoot. I'm not too upset. Jake will be playing the part of Ted Gillette today. No, be uh, Frankie in the confessional. And Frankie Frayed. And uh, this is Abo the Hubuggy, the set we're on right now. It's a great little movie about a huge monkey, and it's gonna be real great and fun. <laughs> I'm glad that my audience members are here to experience uh, the acting warm ups I have to do. He's just warming up his instrument, folks. He's just, uh, notice how he breathes into each chakra. Quiet on set. Quiet. Oh, there he is. Full of again. Matthew A.C. Sars. That's your Alexander name? Alexander Christopher Sars, the two of the leaves. I'm breaking them out. A.C.? You're kind of like a. Matt A.C. Slater. <laughs> Anytime. Anytime. Hey, come on, baby. Oh, God. Oh. Good. Still in character. Hey, man. Should've had two human parents you wanna fit in here in Boston. Do you want us to throw things at him, Frankie? Yeah, please. Please don't hurt him. I don't wanna hurt him. Yeah. Oh, God, don't stop. Oh. No, sorry, sorry. You run that direction, not that direction, because we're gonna miss you in the frame. Okay. You run that direction. Yeah. Oh. Get up and run! Run! <laughs> I lost my pants there. Is everybody ready to throw some snowballs at me? On action. Uh, I don't know, don't be a hero! <laughs> Frankie really took one for the team over here. Frankie, show us your knee. That's what happens when you make independent films, everybody. These are the uh, ice balls that we've been throwing at people. Holly, throw the same place he is. He's in my head. Am I bleeding? <laughs> Am I bleeding? Am I bleeding? <laughs> yes. I was just trying to document the real life of Abo the Hugh Monkey, and, and now I'm bleeding from the face. I'm the second bleeder on set here today. This is what we call making a movie, folks. Hey, fans! Come see Abo the Hugh Monkey in theaters soon. Mark actually gets to be on set with us today, probably, probably for the only time. It's a nice shirt. We <laughs> shoot for shit all over. We're gonna throw shit all over. Two scenes today: introduction of Hoffman and the end of Hoffman. Okay, ready? I guess so. I'll let you kind of cue me. Just fucking throw when I turn around. Let me get more. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see how much that is. That's a lot. That's nice. Crazy. Okay. No laughing. No laughing. Everybody right. very, very, very still. Especially John. No smiles. I know. Okay. And action. So as I was saying, naturalism is... <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck. Gotta do it again. How close can I get? You're not in shot. Okay. If you miss from here, I'm gonna fucking kick you right in the crotch. <laughs> Alright. All right. Ready? Let's shoot it. Alright. Ready, Doug? Yeah. Action. As I was saying, that's for... <laughs> Great. Cool. That was 
was excellent. Cool. Hey, John, turn your head. All right, let me get that. Yeah. Pooh! It's like my father always said. Engage thought before inserting foot. Do you understand? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thing is covered in like fake makeup. The oh, yeah. old mask. Yeah, because Mark, we had to over go over the foundation so many times with like other makeup that it's completely repainted. And the riff was all in here. This is actually the old mask that got pretty ripped on the uh, earlier shoots. And we're using it again because we want to trash it with blood and we don't want to trash the uh, the new, nice, pretty, handsome pretty mask. Nice. It's tough to make anything blend when it's this fucked when up. When it's that hard and coarse and yep. glued together and just They're gonna make close-ups of your face like that. We have until five. This is your guys' makeup bag? Yeah. Nice. Sort of makeshift makeup bag. See, we all yep. shop at CVS. Nice. Feels fantastic. It smells mm. like shit, but that's okay. Ah. So Don't drink blood. I don't know. You have it, Frankie Frank. Frankie, no more poop. <laughs> All right, if there is going to be more poop, we're just going to ask not in the face again. Yeah, I'm not going in the face. Right. Going, I'm, I'm just going to kind of drip it on your chest. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> not anymore. Is everything OK, John? We're good. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, jeez. That's great. Holy it's shit, that's graphic face. now. Now we're talking graphic. No, me, don't look at his eye. <laughs> don't look at his eye. I don't think so, did we? Let me at least get a, some water or something. You're crazy, man. Why don't I just take off the mask, though? You're a trooper, man. You are a trooper. Oh, button. Don't go to the bathroom. Wash myself off. I'll be back in a few minutes. Excuse me, I have to go pee. Tomorrow, we're going to shoot with Lloyd Kaufman. He's going to do a little cameo tomorrow. What do you have? It's locked. It says if no one answers the first, I'll try the other two. Hello. Hey, how you doing? So, set yourself up wherever you want. And, yeah, you got it. I'm, I'm Frankie again, by the yeah, way. Yeah, right. We met in Trauma Dance, yeah. Right, right. Yeah, enjoy your, uh, you know, we've got a whole building here, so when you're ready for me, yeah. Uh, so, is this your script, Frankie? And... Yeah, that's the one, yep. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Well, do whatever you need to do. Yeah, you got it. We're, we're, uh, all we really need to do is set you up sitting against, a, like, a solid colored wall. All right. Really easy. Okay. It's going to so take 20 minutes. Find a wall somewhere. You may want to find one upstairs. Yeah. Maybe easier. Right? Yeah. Hey, how you doing, everybody? Hey, this corner is that any good? That might, yeah, let's just let, we, we can probably make that work. Just do each line. Make sure you're looking in the right place in each line. And when we're all done, yeah, we'll 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 do a thing where okay, you're nodding and looking. <laughs> you're nodding. Again, feel free to to improvise or, or you know. Education has never been better. Now that we've got Abo the Who Monkey here. To... <laughs> it's a uh, Hugh Hugh, Hugh, Hugh Monkey. Monkey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Abo the human. <laughs> what is it? Human. 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 human monkey. Human. Okay. okay. They're developing inner resources, and I think they've stopped the drug use in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> and with that in mind, I think we can all wholeheartedly agree with Jim that ever since the who monkey came here, Abo the who monkey. Yes. <laughs> Let's keep going. Don't laugh. Let's just keep it moving. Sorry. Uh, Yes, I think we can all wholeheartedly agree with Jim that ever since Abbo the Who Monkey came to our school, and as a janitor, I can tell you there are far fewer used condos turning up in the bathroom. God. Used condos. <laughs> oh, I use I should use condos. You know what? Ah, come on, Jimbo, just admit it. You hate Abo. Come on, the cat, or should I say the the Who Monkeys, out of the bag. You're fired. Yeah, once again, add the asshole. You're fired. That'll trump you, you asshole. You are so fucking fired, asshole. Hello, Gabe. That's Frankie Fink. We met a trumpet. Sure, yeah. Abel, buddy, what do you say? Would you like to come to Boston with moi? Open yourself a new life? <laughs> <laughs> Avec moi, ce soir? You just take good care of him. Do you hear I me? I take care of him, I promise. All right, baby, let's go downtown, huh? <laughs> up where they walk, up where they run, up where they play all day in the sun, wandering free. 
wish I could be part of your world. Um, who are you in? It's a public school. Without proper legislation, you're not safe. Excuse me. Excuse me. Do you know by any chance if a Hugh Monkey attends this school? Um. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Bye. Magnificent. I'm not telling you my name. I can't talk to strangers. <laughs> well, now that you know my name, I'm not a stranger. <laughs> anyway. Hello, I'm Ted Gillette. Who might you be? I can't talk. <laughs> Hello, I'm Ted Gillette. Who might you be? I can't talk to strangers. I told you, I'm Ted. We're not strangers. <laughs> that one's really <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> Ciao. So we've been scoring for weeks now and everything sounds amazing, but uh, we have two songs in the movie that require lyrics, the Abo rap, and You Can Cry Tonight, a sappy song at the end of the second act. So stay tuned, we got Nicole Case here. Uh, for some vocals. Test, y'all. Test. Ha, ha, ha! Okay. Spin it! No. Spin it! No. Well, I'm looking at my levels and everything is okay. Okay, we're good then. Beautiful Sunday here at Father's Day. Recording Soccer Johnny, recording Soccer Frank. Ooh, Nicole's sitting here and me. she don't know who to thank. <laughs> ha! Ha! <laughs> Say ha again. Ha! Ha! Yeah! <laughs> One more time. One more time. <laughs> One more time. Pimentos. <laughs> One last time. <laughs> Perfect. Pass me a vine. I'm on swing. <laughs> yeah. Rap about Abo. Ten neighbor one together. Everything is hunky dory. Riding into B town. It's a sin for our story. You. That's it. <laughs> Wait, that one can actually sing. What the fuck? H-O-M-O-N-K-Y, you're lucky. H-O-M-O-N-K-Y, you're lucky. More. I can't do more. <laughs> Hold the microphone closer. Bo! Hey! Bo! Hey! Bo! <laughs> hey! Bo! Hey! Do the Bo! Hey! Bo! Talking about hey! hey. Bo! Get out of time. Hey! Bow! What are they? I'm not a bow! Hey! Bow! Hey! Bow! Hey! Bow! Hey! I'm out! Alright, that was good. That wasn't music at all. <laughs> H U M O N K E Y H U M O N K E Y Put a hanky in your pocket Use it hardly when you need You've been bottling up for far too long Now it's time to be set free How oh, you can cry tonight just come, come on over me. Hey, you can cry tonight. You can cry tonight. It'll be alright. It'll be alright. Just come, come on over me. You can cry tonight. You can cry tonight.
it'll be alright. It'll be alright. Just come. Oh yeah. Come out of love me. <laughs> How you can cry tonight <laughs> and kiss me goodnight. Such a, Such a beautiful sight. This just goes on forever. <laughs> kind of like into as good as John. But I'll try. That was my only goal was to get John on camera doing it. Actually, it'd be really nice if, if on come on me. If you could support that. So I'll be like, okay. just come. I think that's what most people want. Come on me. Okay. okay. Now, and you can try to join in, okay? Put a hanky in out. your pocket. Use it only when you need. You've been bottling up for far too long. Now it's time to be set free. Yeah, and yeah. you should just do that. I like that, that octave better. That's right. the right octave. I will dry your tears. And erase your fears. Tears, and fe tears for fears. It was an 80s band. Now around. A round of high fives. <laughs> oh, you can cry tonight. It'll be alright. Just come. Get out of the dream. How you can cry tonight. And kiss me goodnight. Such a beautiful sight. We're all a little bit out of touch with reality. <sighs> yep. Yeah. Yeah, that was the keeper. That was the Oscar. I thought you were living with a monkey. I thought he was living yeah. with a monkey. Is, a is, monkey? I, is Ted That's the monkey? so sweet. That's He's like not a monkey. Expensive. <laughs> The thing about the sweetest thing about monkey dude. When nice. you first take them home. You bring monkeys home, dude? Yeah. You ain't never brought a monkey to my house. My fucking parents, man. <laughs> we lived in the craziest part of the country, <laughs> and they would always bring home monkeys. And the yeah, first thing we would do is set out a litter box. Bullshit. Just like you would with a cat. Bullshit. Monkey. You're so I swear to God. Bull I swear to God. Monkey. He's no. not a do monkey. You, does your He's monkey a human have They would pee. Right in the litter box. Does your monkey box. friend have a litter box, or what do you? What does he do? Tell him he has a litter box. I swear to God about this. <laughs> Last two days of shooting. We're at the pool with John Hunt, Jake. And Mr. Hennessy, it was in I Need to Lose 10 Pounds. No, no, today is definitely the last day you're wearing this thing. I gotta go ahead change now. You gonna watch me change? The UMass Dartmouth Aquatics, fantastic to this film production. Frank and I were like, oh, do you wanna know who else we've shot with? We've shot with other people here. And she's like, no. you're all set. And we're like, do you wanna know what we're gonna do? Someone's gonna go in the pool. Is that okay? Character's gonna go in the pool. All right, so next Friday. Highly recommend them. <laughs> jump in. I had to jump in to save children before. Yeah. This is the director. Frankie, a little bit a little bit nervous. I'm thinking about going off of a high one. Don't be scared. <laughs> <laughs> you know how great of a shot that's gonna be. I know how great of a shot that's You should be. probably start to get the camera <laughs> calibrated because I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna go in. I think that should be our first shot. That, really? Yeah. Aren't there your, shots your, when you're dry? Your last shot? I think it should be our first because we're gonna in case of something. Well we have two masks, one that's a stunt mask and one that's a... Oh, are you ever dry in the scene? Yeah. Am I ever dry? Yeah. Yes, but the thing is, is like, we couldn't get the good mask wet anyway. Oh yeah, you have to just smear it, gum it. So it's fine. And get it out of the way before. Yeah, yeah, well we just, we just gotta set, okay. You should, you should get the camera set up. Go.
Frankie jumped off that. We close pinned it to my collar. Um, I think this is the most of Avo's neckline that you'll ever get to see in the movie. Now, who is this, Principal Pierce? Uh, Nick, this is Ted Gillette. He's from the college in Boston. He has some questions about Avo. Pleased to meet you, Coach. So I guess this is uh, apparently my last day of shooting on Avo the Hugh Monkey. Uh, it feels good. I feel like we've accomplished a magnificent thing. Uh, I feel that this project uh, is cool. <laughs> Hi everybody, this is Frankie Frayne. Uh, this is the last time I'm going to be wearing this mask on Avo the Hue Monkey. As you get to see, we have a lot of neckline now. Okay, it's the last time. <laughs> No, thank you. I don't want to put this on anymore. I get spirit gum in my eyebrows for days. And I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but the skin in this region has gotten so raw and dead. And if you compare it to that, you know, you can maybe see a difference. But I don't think it's ever gonna heal. Last day, I think. Probably not, but last day. So we've got Alan back, he's up in Boston, and uh, I find it ironic, somewhat poetic, that he would be there on our first day and our last. Oh, you know what I had? You have a piece of paper we can stick in it for a press card? Yeah. yeah. That's, that's the costume. So what are you doing today, Alan? I'm Derek Snell today, kids. And for the last time, there was only one other time. Thanks, Doug. Anybody asks you're not with us because in Boston, permit laws say that you can, you're can you legally allowed to do three people. You know, like one operator, two subjects, or the other way around. But a fourth person, you need a permit. We're here at the State House where the big debate between Hoffman and Ted went down. I don't know his last name. They don't give me these things, unfortunately. Uh, whose debate went through and who's got flipped over on the turnpike like a Chinese bus going to Boston? All this and more later. But let's talk to some of these awesome Bostonians and see what they have to say and see what they think of my new tie. Ooh, Italian ice. Confused people and mixed drinks. My bar mitzvah. Confused people, madness in the streets. I'm not sure what to make of it, but I know you are coming up after another Seinfeld rerun. Uh, I'll be back with voting results. Well, I hope it's the one where Kramer's the turkey. I'm here with Bostonian Toker, Toker Harris, that's a joke. <laughs> I'm here with Toker, fuck, I'm going to say that now. I'm here with Topher, the Toker Harris, to see what he has to say about the debate. Okay, so we're still in front of the State House, but it's a different day now. But now we're waiting for one more person, and that's the end of the shooting. His name is Alexon, and he went to the I Need to Lose 10 Pounds premiere and won a little contest that we had where uh, if you told the funniest story, you, you got a part in the movie. We're going to have a talent contest, and whoever did the best job in 30 seconds gets a roll in the next movie. Apparently what she did, she must have like taken the beads and like, pulled them out like she was pulling a record on a lawnmower. Might as well, yeah, good to see you, man. Do it like three times in a row. All right. What's a hue monkey? What's a hue monkey? What's a hue monkey? That was it. That's a wrap on Abo the Hue Monkey. That was our last shot. And I did it with Alexon, the contest winner. Bye. But I'll see y'all on July 21st at 7 o'clock. UMass Dartmouth, be there. It's all the writers. What are we doing today, guys? We're recording a commentary, Frankie. We all have our official clipboards with our names. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I took one note during the whole movie, and it was this. That joke sucks. What joke do you think that was? <laughs> Your bit was tired. She stole my bit. Your bit was tired. The movie's showing today. All right, Mike, and where are we going? I believe Olive Garden. So we can see a little bit of a change now. Off to Nina's, grab the last of the stuff and go to UMass, baby. Premiere time. It was a year ago. A year ago that we were making a mask. Why are we going to Dunkin' Donuts? <laughs> I guess I have to tolerate this. Hi. We're talking about what to do with DVDs during the movie. Selling copies of 10 pounds and Abo. I hear that there's a little problem. So Chris booked us the auditorium for 6 to 10, which we appreciate. 
but it's like 10 of 6 and no one's here yet to open it for us and everything's locked and we're a little concerned because it is a Saturday and then we called Chris he said um yeah call around I don't know who we're supposed to call around to call around I don't know what that means so if I guess if we can't get in everyone who comes is just gonna have to watch us reenact the movie in the quad but I'm like the only female writer so I think I'm gonna have to like reenact all the parts myself and I gotta be Bonnie and I don't know so I gotta be all the female extras the reporters that's it's, true it's a lot of pressure on me I can't find anybody to talk to what are your thoughts on this? I can't do it. So, quick update. It uh, seems uh, Frankie called the campus police, and I guess somebody's going to be on their way to help uh, sort things out. So, let's hope everything works out well in the end. Wait, I can still see it happening. No custodians found. End of chapter. Frankie panicked for no reason. Are you still wearing your blazer? I didn't even have a real blazer. I look like a flight attendant. Chris, look at this. Are you in the movie? I am the stars of the movie, Doug. Barbecue later. Be yeah, there. I'm so psyched. I got holes in my hands from shish kebab skewers. Really? Okay. Hey, Chris. What's up? How are you, Doug? How are uh, this you? is a very instrumental man on the movie. Oh, I just got a really great present from Emery. <laughs> Congratulations on writing a great story in Ava. You remember Brittany? She's in the first shot of the movie. Oh, hey, how are you doing? And that's why my go to master is my hero. He can break bricks and boards on fire. What did you do for this movie? I did nothing. Then whose beautiful voice was that at the end? That was John Hunt, didn't you know? Just come. Oh yeah. Chad, can I interest you in a DVD? A DVD, ten dollars with a free poster. What do you think of Frankie Frame? Well, he's a good friend, and uh, he's completely absurd, and uh, well. I just love him for it. Frankie is wearing pants that belong to someone who was six feet tall. He's like four foot three. Jacob Sadek, Man of the Hour. What did you do for this film? I helped write it, I guess. I gave like maybe two ideas. That's probably about it. I came up the road and there was this line of people. I was like, oh, Frank's doing pretty good, but they all turned and went to the fair. <laughs> this will be my fourth time. Will it? I got you beat. Because it was one, two, three. Four. This will be five. I need some Visine or whiskey. What was it like being a neighbor? Oh, it was great. All the time I thought that dog was just, was just content, but who would have thought that the little fucker would just jump out the window like that? I had a lot of fun working with him. He was really good to work with. Yeah, and I'm psyched to see the film, so congrats, Frankie. What are your thoughts on that initial story uh, meeting, for the record? Frankie was, like, too tired to be like, this is stupid. And then Frankie's like, wait a sec, no, it's stupid. And he's right. I really like the idea of, like, a bunch of people banding together to do something stupid. How's Frankie as director? You were there. He's like, go. And then Ben and Jake started screaming and, like, ripping their shirts off. <laughs> Pretty much it. Hey everybody, thanks. Welcome to Abel the Hue Monkey, the feature yeah. line comedy. Yeah. So it's 83 minutes long. We're gonna sell some DVDs outside. Um, hopefully it just kind of speaks for itself. Hope you all enjoy it. And yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Really glad you guys came. It means a lot to me. So enjoy the movie. Well, anyway, as I was saying, natural event. A parade! Parade? Parade! 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 What? And don't we all just love Abo? We certainly do, Derek. without saying human. That's goddamn right.
Table got a different kind of weird, but that's okay. He got mad. And working in a DNA, born and loving in a world where shoes and socks, living in a town called Watts Hero Rock. With the cast, uh, Jake, John, Ben, uh, just amazing guys yeah. to work with. Doug Bergdorf <laughs> didn't make the movie yeah. at all. And, and Mark for doing the most incredible makeup. Well, didn't Abel look great, guys? Yeah. He's yeah. yeah. Uh, I wondered who did the drawings because they were absolutely fabulous. This was done by Alan Damaris, who's sitting right behind you diagonally. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, the budget was provided by Nina. <laughs> She gets so much scholarships that she literally, she almost gets paid to come to this place. So she's like, this is blood money, I'm putting in the movie. John Hunt was the, uh, he played the principal in the movie. A lot of you already know him, and he wrote the music, did a fantastic job. Couldn't be here tonight. Why? Because he's at, like, an anime convention in Maryland. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. Thank you so much. Frankie's stupid. He should have made t-shirts. I would have bought one of those. The son of a bitch did it. I actually liked it a lot. It was, uh, it was good times. And it was really a lot of fun making it. And uh, I'd love to do it again. What did you think of the movie, Doug? Loved it. How are you doing, Frank? Great work this time. I don't know if No, I thought the yelling scene was loud. The yelling scene? Yeah. Oh, in love. It's brilliant. Yeah. He's my son! So what did you think of the movie? Wicked good. I like the snowball fight. Snowball fight? Yep. Even though I wasn't the star in this one, I still, I still saw myself. You're still a star in our eyes. Yeah. Hey, Kaylee. Hi. You did great. Thank yeah. you. Oh, this has blinded me. That was awesome. That's so cool. The audience got it. The turnout was definitely, I'm, I'm shocked. I didn't expect so many people to be there. Like, I really know what to say. Like, to be honest with you, like, I almost fell up the stairs. I mean, yeah, I was, like, so excited. And, and just to see all the hard work that you guys have just finally come together, it's definitely priceless. And it was a lot of fun. And I miss it already. I absolutely loved it. I thought it was original and creative and one of the best Boston made movies I've ever seen. Well, that's what I say, man. Watch those Boondock yes. Saints. I was surprised. He didn't even tell me he was in it. And then all of a sudden he was the main character. And I was just I like, wow. I, That's I, humble and I awesome of him. <laughs> because there's only one auteur, as the great Francois Godard says, and <laughs> that is... Truffaut, dumbass. Your name works. Uh, yeah, fr fr Francois <laughs> Truffle. That's the director, which is <laughs> Frank fr Fry. <laughs> hey, guys. Thanks for coming to see Abo the Hugh Bucky, my second feature. Come on, me. <laughs> is it strange seeing a character of yourself up there? No. Not at all. Not really. Here he is. Here he is. I didn't want him to write my name on it. It's worth less money on eBay. Alan, what? What'd you think of the movie? I thought it was great. Yeah. Tons of chuckles, worked on many different levels. I was glad to be a part of it. I was glad to just sit there and watch it uh, in an audience of people. It felt so legitimate. Felt good, felt fun. How many roles? Uh, two, officially? Arthur Dull and um, Derek Snow. And Nobody did the artwork? Tell. And you did the artwork? And I the rap sang, and sang the rap. The rap. You know, it's, if, if, I, if that's what I can help out doing, I'm glad to help out uh, doing. Out of this is up. my favorite time watching it, actually. Really? It was really good. Mine too, actually. I was very happy with the uh, audience's uh, reception to it. Made me proud. Made me proud. It was a lot of fun. The whole day it was, it's very long now, I started hanging out with Frankie and getting everything done. And I, I was very pleased with the way everything came out. What do you think of Frankie Frame, the man? I hate him. <laughs> Can't stand him, despise him, disgusting, grotesque piece of crap. Uh, and most likely he'll die on his way to LA and I'll never talk to him again. Now Frankie Frame, the director. Love him. I can't get enough of him. And uh, he claims he's homosexual, and I hope he's homosexual because <laughs> him and I may get married so soon. This is a fucking great experience to work on this movie, like very sincerely. But they're also just really kind hearted people, and I was able to surround my, myself with really great people in my life, and uh, I don't think too many people get the opportunity to do it, not just once or twice. Oh, Nelly. Look at that. <laughs> How'd you feel about the night? It was great. Kurt, get in the pool. That's the boot, Scott. I'm on like my third plate. <laughs> Yeah, boy. Frankie 
you frame the coward slash director slash writer. Keith has been injured. Yeah, Keith. Yeah, Keith. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Why are you not going in? Well, I'm chatting with friends that I have I've just met, haven't seen in a while. I'll get in there to whip on you, I haven't seen it. You want the best! You threw a great party. I try. It There's was still phenomenal. cake. Are you having cake? I'm definitely having cake. Abo the Hue Monkey. Production quality is miles above I need to lose 10 pounds was. Here's a disc art. Now tell me that is not cool. Wouldn't you like to see that on some mainstream releases? It's kind of a weird one. A guy comes up to him and sees that he's living in a town and brings him into the city. While he's in the city, there's a science teacher who's trying to prove that he's just a freak. He's not this big deal that everybody's making him out to be. Abel the monkey, boy Kaufman's in it. And it's like, I'm watching it, and it's like, what the hell? It's Lloyd Kaufman from Trauma. Just awesome, awesome movies. Yes, the terrible news is true. The inmates have broken out of the asylum. No one is safe. Lock your doors, barricade your windows. Unfortunately, uh, Abo has dried up our budget somewhat What with all these special effects you've been hearing. And um, coming up, I guess what we're going to be reverting to, my producer Jerry tells me, is, is sounds of the color beige. Uh, it's very riveting. It gets really good about two hours in, so stick around and enjoy the afternoon. Do you want to know how a film crew of misfits have made four moderately successful feature films for no money? Want to know how they shot the fourth one in nine days straight? Pick up Red Cow Entertainment's first book, More Weight, The Making of Having Fun Up There and Other Filmmaking Tales. Includes asides and appendices from other filmmakers and beautiful production stills. Contains funny anecdotes, do's and do nots, technical step-by-steps, screenwriting, producing, and cinematography tutorials, and film festival and distribution advice. Go to redcowentertainment.com store. Read it. You'll like it.